The government is refuting claims that the Galleon's passage isn't capable of servicing the seabridge. Minister of Works and Transport Rohan Sinanan addressed what he said was misinformation regarding the safety of the vessel at today's post-cabinet media briefing. Karen Kozia philip reports. One day after the opposition claimed the Galleon's passage was not seaworthy, the Works and Transport Minister reassured the vessel would not be put into operation unless there was full authorization from the Director of Maritime Services. These reports are reports that are generated at a point in time based on the information put before them. However, certification and classification of the vessel will be finalized by our maritime division and until then the vessel will not be put in service. So there is no issue of the vessel going into service without being fully authorized by the authority that is certified and authorized to give us that clearance. Communications Minister Stuart Young condemned the opposition and particularly Senators Wade Mark and Saddam Hussein for trying to mislead the public with regard to the safety of the vessel. What the population is being flooded with right now is fake news in a most unpatriotic manner by Senators Wade Mark and Saddam Hussein who are deliberately lying and attempting to mislead the population and encourage them not to go on the Galleon's Passage, which is owned by the taxpayers. Minister Sinanan said several reports regarding the seaworthiness of the Galleon's Passage were done at a specific time. He said the vessel had been examined since it docked in Trinidad on Tuesday. One was a fire alarm system. There is a fire alarm system on the vessel. The other one was the CCTV to see the, vest, the vehicles coming onto the vessel and passengers. Those are on the vessel. He also took a jab at the opposition for its continued attack on the purchase of the vessel. A collapsed sea bridge will damage both Trinidad and Tobago. It affects our economy. Unfortunately, there are certain people who feel that they can ride back into government on a vessel. Minister Sinanan said in addition to the CCTV cameras installed on the Galleon's passage, government has also asked the Port Authority to ensure that security was beefed up around all the vessels to prevent any acts of sabotage. Karen Kozia-Philip, C News.